Okay, I've been working on this uh, 3D printed robot here from Thingiverse, and uh, it's a spider type robot. It's uh, got a bunch of legs, a bunch of servos, and it's powered by a Huduino, which can uh, take a lithium battery and uh, provide 12 servo outputs. And uh, the problem is, is that the original printing was, uh, here, let's take a look at that. To, they, they basically soldered the wires onto a lithium battery, but what if you want to replace the lithium battery? The original body is too uh, short this direction and too shallow, even if you could get it in there, to hold this, uh, this type of uh, standard uh, lithium battery holder. What is it, the 18650 or something like that? And so <clears throat> I did a redesign made a new body here. Let's take a look at this. And so here's the new body. And uh, had to make a top and a bottom. And I made it longer and I made it deeper also. It had to be deep enough to fit the battery into it. And so now, if we look in here, the battery fits in there. And the Huduino would fit in there. And the top fits on top. And uh, it's a little bit thicker than the other one, but uh, but it's definitely uh, big enough to hold the battery compartment and microprocessor and everything. And so this uh, let's, let's zoom back out. This should be uh, a nice upgrade to the Spider Walker. And I think I'm going to try to get a Thingiverse account and post it on there for people who want to be able to. Uh, have a larger compartment for this uh, spider robot and put batteries into it. And uh, it should be a very interesting project. We're, I'm still continuing to work on it, but like everything, it's a big project and progress is slow, but we're making progress. We've got all the servos in there, and I'm going to replace the body and see how, uh, all, how, how it meshes with all the other body parts, make sure that uh, everything works okay. And uh, I did make a video about modifying uh, STL files, and I was able to modify this top part fairly easily. The bottom part was actually complicated, and I got a lot of errors in FreeCAD. And so I actually ha had to end up redrawing the whole thing from scratch, which is a very time-consuming process. And uh, I couldn't figure out a way to just chop it and extend it and join it back together because it was getting a lot of errors in the... Uh, the uh, the triangles that make up the STL, and so anyway, that was a big job. Oh, another p feature I wanted to mention that I added to this is that uh, before it was kind of hard to route the servo wires out, so I put a little notch. I manually notched it before with a file, but I put little notches here so you can route the wires out when you put the servos in here. We'll see how that works. So that's another nice feature. Think about this new design. Okay, we just removed one of the legs from our robot, and we're going to transfer it over to the new body. And here's one of the bearings, and I think I was going to put the black legs in the back. And uh, so let's check out the bearing. Here's that hole that the bearing goes into, this kind of recessed square. And there's a round part for the bearing. Make sure it fits in there okay. Looks like it fits in there, no problem. And and of course our servo goes in on top of that make sure the wires fit in yeah, the servo goes on in on top of that and I'll make sure the wires fit into this crack down here let me take some of the screws out of here see I engineered a crack in there a recess for the wires to come up so let's put this guy in there. Okay. And now, oh. Okay, now we have a little recess here for the wires to come up through there. And, uh, looks like little screw holes line up and everything. So 
Let's try transferring the leg over and see how it works. Okay. Okay, and so here's our back leg that we transferred over. And uh, like I said before, this, this part was a little bit tight. Maybe it was made for a different size servo slightly. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it's really tight putting it on. You gotta hook it over the bearing and then bring it up over top of the servo like that to get it on. And it's kind of a chore to do it. Okay. Uh, there. And it looks like it fits in place. And I probably won't know if it's too tight or not until I try running the servos. Again, here's the nylon piece that kind of slides into that recess and then goes down over top of the servo and get everything set in place. And there we go. Let's put the rest of the legs on and see how it looks. Okay. Okay, here we go. We have the screws that hold the servos in and it looks like they fit in snugly. The servos are fit well in place. Okay, so let's put the rest of the legs on and see how it works. Okay, so here we got all the legs on the new body shell. And, uh, of course, we can fit our battery and the uh, Huduino into this guy. And here's the uh, mount for the Huduino. And... Here's the top of it. Okay. So that's what it would look like now with the thicker body that can uh, hold everything. Anyway, here we go. We'll have to go on to the next step and do the electrical and test the legs and make sure that they work okay. This is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching. I'll try to put these uh, redesigns on Thingiverse. If anyone's interested in having a body that can fit the whole battery inside of it with the battery holder. Okay. Anyway, this is uh, what the robot will look like with the new body on it. And okay, so here's I just set up a, a Thingiverse account so I could uh, share these uh, new designs that I made if anyone's interested in uh, downloading them and uh, my account is, I don't know if you do a search under uh, your name, it's under Dr. Jane's Spider Robot Quadruped Redesign and uh, I have links to the original designer to give them credit and uh, I'm not sure how you tell what number this is this should be around here someplace. Okay. Thing files. Okay, here's my two files that I made for the top and the bottom. And, uh, anyway, I was hoping that they would have the uh, Thingiverse number, and I'm not sure. I just. a little bit new to this, so I'm not sure where that might be. If you can't get to it, uh, I guess leave something in the comments below, and I'll try to. I'll probably. I'll put up a link someplace, and uh, then we will. Uh, you'll be able to get to it from that. Okay. Anyway, this is Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.